Hi, I'm Noah. I'm a stay-at-home dad with twins. It has been a long time since my last video. How long? These are actually my grandchildren. We're going to tell a story today, and the boys are going to help me tell a story. Um, so, here's how the story starts. Once upon a time, there were two brothers named Moonbeam and asparagus. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh yeah. And they were also detectives. So one day they put on their detective hats. How do you put on a hat? Right. And they went to talk to the chief whose name was Mommy. Can we say Mommy? Mommy. Yeah. And the chief said, somebody has stolen no. all no yes. Yes, you have to face it. You have to face the asparagus. Somebody has stolen all the bananas. Can we say a banana? Banana. All right. So you, what we need you to do is go out and question everybody you meet to ask if they took the bananas. Moonbeam and asparagus set out. The first, <laughs> the first thing that they met, the, the first thing they met was a dog, and they said, "Dog, did you take the bananas?" Yeah. And what did the dog say? What does a dog say? Good, mm -hmm. oh, yes. So they thought the dog didn't take the bananas. And then they met a cat. And they said, Cat, did you take the bananas? And what did the cat say? Uh, no. <laughs> That's right. Both no and meow at the same time. Then they met a pig. And they said, Pig, did you take the bananas? What did the pig say? What did the pig say? Right, right. Very good. And they thought the pig didn't take the bananas. And then they met a cow. And they said, cow, did you take the bananas? And what did the cow say? Moo. Moo, right. Very good. And then they met a, a, a horse. And they said, horse, did you take the bananas? And what did the horse say? Nee. What does a horse say? Nee. Right. And so they, they knew the horse didn't take the bananas. And they met a snake. And they said, snake, did you take the bananas? And what did the snake say? And then they met a rooster. And they said, Rooster, did you take the bananas? And what did the rooster say? <laughs> That's the closest we can get to cockatoodle doo. Then they met a sheep. And they said, Sheep, did you take the bananas? And what did the sheep say? Good. You still working on the rooster? And then they met an elephant. And I said, elephant, did you take the bananas? What did the elephant say? <coughs> well, I think you're closer, asparagus. You, you, you're getting a little ahead of us in the story. And then they met a lion. And I, ooh, right, and I said, and lion, did you take the bananas? And what did the lion say? <coughs> right, because the lion had just had a nice, refreshing drink of soda. <laughs> and then they met a goat. And they said, goat. Did you take the bananas? And what did the goat say? <laughs> and they thought, hmm, the goat has the same alibi that the sheep had. And then they met a bear. They said, bear, did you take the bananas? And what did the bear say? Because right, the bear was doing an impression of a lion. And then, finally, they thought they'd asked every animal they were ever going to see. Oh, are we giving hugs? That's nice. Then they met a chimp. And they said, Chimp, did you take the bananas? And what did the chimp say? Ooh. Hey, Moonbeam, what does the chimp say? Uh-oh. Right. And they thought, wait a minute. I know that chimpanzees love bananas. And they said, you took the bananas, didn't you, chimp? You took them. And then the chimp said, I just took them because I wanted to make banana bread for everybody. And sure enough, that's what he had done. He made delicious banana bread Everybody. He made it for Moonbeam and Asparagus and the Chief and Chief Mommy and the dog and the cat and all the other animals and they all had delicious banana bread and they were all very happy. Now the story is all done. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All done. All done. Now can we say bye-bye? Bye-bye.